Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we have a movie review. So this is the Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Edition. Um, essential kit. And I do need to talk about something. So, if you have not funded into the new Jurassic Park Hammond Collection Jurassic Gate theme on Mattel Creation, go do it. It's $250, but you don't get charged now. You need $5,000 until you get charged. So there will be 5,000 people to sign up and do it. And that's when you get charged. So let's make it a 10,000 because I really want that goat and the T-Rex. I'm really happy about the gate though. I really just want the gate, but I do really like that hammond. So first of all, the front is amusing, amazing art. This is beautiful. I would have liked if it did say 30th on the front, but no, that's good. It still looks amazing. Then we have the back, all the stuff it includes, which I will show once we get in there, and I'm pretty sure this is limited edition. Yes, it is limited edition. Yeah, let me find a better angle. Oh, there's light coming in better. Let's go over there. Not light. So, okay, so side of the box, Jurassic Park, and then you can see stuff that's in it. Let's open this up. I already tore a little part for it didn't take four hours. Opening it, so, um, satisfying pill, and I can just take that off there, I'm pretty sure. Just the, just the kind of back, oh my gosh, the back of it is amazing. Take a look at that. Oh, they got a piece of glue on the front. That is disturbing. Okay, there we go. Got it off. There's the front. Oh, this thing's amazing. Um, and then we just slide it out of the side. 4K Ultra HD. Jurassic Park. Um, let's open it up. Jurassic Park, obviously, and a Blu-ray for it, too. So there's the disc. Then we have this, so. Don't know what this is. This is like a... Film kind of thing. It's trying to, but it says 30th. Put that down. Then a little booklet. Um, I'll flip to one page that gets, catches my eye. There's the page. Then we have certificate of authentic authenticity. Oh, I'm sorry. Then we have like a bunch of little cards. So let's open these up. Or at least attempt to open them up. Almost have it. Just some. I do need to point out one little thing that I'm... that I'm not too happy about is that they used um, Jurassic World Dominion wrote, um, renders for the postcards like at least could have used I don't know what to say really. I'm just 
attempting to open this like thing. Universal. If you're not gonna put this in store, you don't need to. No, I, I'm basically gonna bite the card at this point. So. I don't want to be here for four hours, so I'm not even going to open the cards, so. There we go. So now that I got it, um, sorry for the wait. You can skip it. Somebody probably skip ahead. Okay, so there's the T Rex Dominion Render. I mean, this isn't even Isla Nublar. Like, come on, people. I'm not even sure that's Isla Nublar. I'm pretty sure that's not, but there's the Brachiosaurus. And then. There's the Triceratops, not even easily in the blood. And there's the Dilophosaurus, not even easily in the blood. Like, come on. You can at least try. Try. For the fans. Well, but you can't because you're Mattel. Oh, oh you're not Mattel. Um, sorry, Universal, but you can't because we are lousy on money, but I do have to say, I do prefer this being cheaper than a hundred something dollars for the Dominion one. So I do recommend this if you are a full on Jurassic fan, love the movie. So if you don't love the movie, don't get this. It's just straight up logic. Um, but. Or, I mean, if you're a collector and you just like collecting stuff like this, don't buy it. I mean, you have fans that actually want this stuff. Unlike you guys who just collected to say, Oh, I got it. Oh. Interesting. At least. Let the fans get the first picks, not the collectors, unless the collectors are true fans, then they can have take a pick at it. But if you're not, no, no. Well, you know what that means, um, stay Jurassic. Life, uh, oh, welcome to Jurassic Park.